Well, it's where I've come to my craft studio. I did get a little bit picked up in here. <laughs> I have a haul to share with you. I'll be right back. Target, Hobby Lobby, and Dollar Tree. Oh, and I bought one thing at Meyer. Some of it's crafty, some of it's decor. So, Hubby's full. Hubby's leftovers. Um, I bought this made for sunny days to put the cat's food on for the summer. I try to buy her a new one every season. Back there. Um, this was Target. It's a magnetic utility cup set, which I bought this there too. It has the month, a list, and a plain one thing. I kind of want to set up a command center in her room. Hubby has a hard time remembering the day of the week, when appointments are and stuff, so I want to get better about writing them down and so he can see when it's coming in relationship to when it is and the date and stuff. You might see his new neurologist today because the other one is leaving this the local health network. I don't know. I know I don't know exactly the story, but I do know he did a lot of re he did see more did more research than patients towards the end. So I'm assuming it's tied to that that maybe he's just not gonna see patients anymore. So but I was worried because our first experience with a neurologist was awful. <laughs> the, the nurse today knew exactly who it was without me telling her who it was. <laughs> so that tells me something about that neurologist. But anyway, this I bought at Meyer. I needed a new gazing ball for one of my little garden decorations. We got a little boy and girl that are supposed to hold a globe, and mine broke a few years ago. I was looking for one at Hobby Lobby, and there was absolutely none of them left at my little, the store I was at today. I don't know if the other one, that's just stuff about Hobby's appointment. I also bought these at Target. There are more things for the board. Some magnets, the dry erase marker. Um, so... Dollar Tree. I bought these for me, the Reese's Puffs. Hubby picked out these ones and these ones. And I picked out a couple of snacks, pretzels that I like, garlic parmesan and the other things. So, that. Put that there. What else do I buy? I think it's just this one left. I bought one more dry erase board. I bought a weekly one. I wanted to be able to put more info about something that was happening, like it, it, like today, the neurologist. I could put more info about that doctor 
or whatever. So far, the house, they've lowered the price again. I'm getting a little worried. Um, and um, we're having an open house Sunday, so hopefully that will bring some activity. I think the rest of this may be Hobby Lobby. I bought these for the yard for fall. They were like three different colors, kind of a yellow, kind of a burnt orange and a yellow orange. So I bought those for outside. They also had some really cute pumpkins, which I might pick up later. I was thinking these would be good for September and maybe the pumpkins leading up to um, I look at this little guy every year, so I decided to buy him this year. The little turkey that says eat ham. So I look at him every year. I don't buy him. I keep thinking I'll find him on clearance. Every year I tell him they go clearance, and up to this year, you know what? I'm buying them when I see them, as soon as it's on sale, so that's what I did. I was looking for a couple other fall items that my store didn't have, but they don't look like they're fully stocked yet, so maybe they'll turn up later. And then I found some clearance beads. I found these flat back, like, multi-toned pastel ones. And I usually sort my beads out by color, but since these are really multi-toned, they're just going to go into my multi area. And then I bought this blue set of beads because I thought it was really pretty. If they'd had another set of these, I probably would have bought two, but they only had one. So, one was all I got. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I bought today. Um, so I'm just hoping, send good thoughts we can get that house sold. I'm kind of wondering, I'm thinking, <sighs> keeps going, I don't think I'm going to be able to build the craft thing. I think what I'm going to ask when they come out is, there is a garage out there, it's just in bad shape. I'm wondering if maybe they could do something to repair that, and maybe I'll sacrifice a spot for my car, just go with a two-car garage other than a three-car garage, have two cars plus storage for my seasonal stuff, because I do want to get my seasonal stuff out of the basement so that I don't have to carry it up and downstairs so that I can have the craft space. I want a really kind of large craft space and I, if we could at all afford it, I'd like to have a toilet and sink out there and a place to watch TV because right now we've got a TV in our bedroom which you might be able to kind of hear it. Um, and I don't want that. I don't want us to be watching TV in the bedroom. But right now, there's really not another option. Um, but I'd like to have a place for us to watch TV, stay out there for a certain time, come in, and then we can always watch things that are on later on a different day. Because we kind of pool expenses. And one of the things I said I would take care of is the streaming services. So, and then they could do the house and utilities and all that. I'm really hoping I can get the car sold because I, I mean the house sold because I want to pay our car off and I owe my mother-in-law a little bit on the old house, the house that we're trying to sell. So I want to get that paid for. It's not a lot. I'm actually debating whether to just transfer that money over because we have it in the savings. I was just trying to wait, but we thought by now we'd be in, we'd be under contract by now, and it just hasn't happened. It's, um, we did go and repaint every room, pretty much every room in the house. I didn't paint the closets in the bedrooms, and I didn't paint, I always call it a back porch. I've heard people referring to it as a sun porch. I didn't paint either of those. If we don't get anything on this one, maybe I'll try to talk to the realtor again and say, "Would do you think painting closets and that sun porch would be helpful?" Because I and maybe I know there's some tile in the kitchen that's kind of fallen loose. Maybe try to see if I could paint the loose ones first, and then um, see if I can get them back up. 
I don't know what else to do. I know the floors really need to be replaced in the kitchen and bathrooms, but that's a little bit more expensive than I want to undertake. Because I'd have to hire somebody to do that. I couldn't do that myself. But anyway, that's... Phil thought I was all finished. Found two more. I remember two more things that I have not shared. I got my auto ship for the thermal cinch from HSN. It's called Pocket of Posies. It includes 10 pattern pages, five note pages, five large folder pages, five tab pages, five die cut pages, three small folder pages, three small die cut, a spine, a bookmark, a stickers, alphabet stickers, ephemera, glue sticks, and an instruction sheet. Where is the instruction sheet? It must be mixed in here somewhere and I didn't see it. This is the ephemera. I don't really want to open it up. If I get a chance, I will try to do a special video where I go through all of this piece by piece and show it. But I get I need to get the table cleared off in order to do that. There's that. There's these stickers are kind of like al alphabet thicker stickers. These stickers. Oops. It fell. Um, here's kind of some of the smaller pages. I think this will be fun. I, I real, I am really missing crafting, um, and I know I really need it. I, I'm all, I'm mentally, my mental health is suffering here. But there's some of the bigger ones, and here's some more bigger ones, and some of the die cut ones. Like I said, I, that's something you'd be interested in seeing, everything that came with this thermal cinch pack. Let me know. I, I can try to do like a close-up view of it. I'm just trying to give you kind of a rough idea of what was in it during this video. And then the other thing I had is, you remember, if you've been watching before, you might remember all the stuff I got from my one friend that lives kind of locally. Um, she, she's been purging stuff. She purged a bunch of totally Tiffany stuff. I totally forgot this stuff last time. I was going to share it last time and did not think to do it. This is full of like fab files. This a small 4x6 fab file. The medium 5x7. And the 6 six fab file. I know that eventually I will put these to use. I've even used some of these in other places like um, I think it's the 5 by 7 fab file. I had the little powered staple gun that I had bought off HSN. So I put that and the extra staples and the charging cord all in there. And one of them holds I have a little powered screwdriver. So one of them holds that. 12 by 12 craft binder. There's a little thing for you. Um, people ask what the difference is between the spinder binder and the craft binder. The only difference is, can you see here, it's got the three ring mechanism. The three ring mechanism makes it the craft binder. If it doesn't have that when you buy it, it's called the spinder binder because it's sold for people who like have a scrap rack and like when they travel, they just want to pull off their birthday section and put it in a binder and bring it with them. That was what the original purpose of that was, and then she had people asking about just having the spinder and everything with it, so they came out with it. And then she gave me another craft binder filled with different pages. I'm trying to think of what the name of this one is. The side loader single, I think. The super single. This one is the Daily Double, I think. No, the Vertical Double. The Daily Double is that you have to wear. This one's the Four Pocket one, which I don't remember what it's called. But I have four, I think. Oh, this one's the Fantastic Five, one of my favorite pages. There's more of the four, more of the two, 
one on the four. It kind of just flips back and forth through here. There's just a lot, assortment of different pages in there, which I know I ran out of a few of those when I was going through my scrap. So that'll be nice to have. Another fab file that's an eight by eight. I was looking at the eight by eight albums today, but I didn't buy one. Next time they have them on sale, I might try to buy that. Um, the 12 by 12 fab file. The Traders 12 scrap wrap page. 12 pockets. The Flippin' Storage Pack. I don't have any of this page, so I was thrilled when I seen this in there because it was on my list to buy. Um, I believe these ones are the Collection Keepers, which I use these a lot in my planning album. It goes, it's got big three pot gusseted pockets here of different sizes. I think this might be like four by six. I'm trying to think of the size, maybe six by six. Might be a little larger than that. And this is like a six by twelve. And then there's a twelve by twelve pocket here, and there's a bonus twelve by twelve in the middle. So those ones are nice. Um, there's some scrap rack divider pockets in here. More of the side loader single. And some more dividers. So I will put that stuff to good use when I eventually get to crack. I'm trying to get it kind of organized in here so that I can at least come in. I think I want to put my computer in here and hubby's computer in here so that I can just quick come in update my checkbook. Um, well, I do a lot of my iPad now, but there's certain things that I like to do on my computer, so I'd like to get it set up in here so that it's not in the bedroom. I just need less in the bedroom. He, I said, I, if you've watched my videos before, you know my husband has dementia and also probably Alzheimer's. It would be classified early onset because he's been dealing with it for a few years, and we didn't really realize it at first. Um, there was so much going on and so much stress that we just thought it was stress. It wasn't. <laughs> um, but he loses things a lot. The new, um, well, I just would say today that um, after testing him, he says, he goes, there's new drug things and he says, they're more recommended for people who are early. He goes, he goes, I would tell you if the data was there to support doing it, to go ahead and do it. But he goes, the data, he goes, it's weak, no, it's expensive, and it really isn't showing an extension of life. So, he said, so I don't really recommend it in your husband's situation. And his situation, because my kid daughters were there too. He says, I do like that you're going up to UW Madison to see the memory clinic. And he goes, Maybe they can give you more. Because I, I asked him, I said, I said no, my, the la our doctor referred us to a social worker because we asked. I said, But she, I said, she really didn't seem to know a lot about Alzheimer's and the things. I said, Part of the problem is we don't know what to ask. <laughs> I'll be honest. And I said, but I've been doing some research and basically the recommendation is for a geriatric social worker. He, he goes, he goes, I'm new to this area. He goes, I would think you'd have some of those. He goes, I will do some research on that and let you know. Now, the last one said he didn't think that we had anything like that. I said, we are going, you know, that's when I said we're going up to UW Madison. And he goes, yeah, they might at least be able to have that and help you more. I said, part of the problem is, we don't know what to ask. I mean, we're handed this horrible diagnosis, <laughs> but really don't know what to do, what to ask. You know, yeah, there's public resources out there, but how do you find those resources if you don't know what you're looking for? So there's kind of where we're at with that, but we're, we're hoping. 
I think he stayed said he, he said he thought he was doing better. And I said, I'd say about the same. I said, I don't think it's worsened, but I'd say about the same. And my daughter said, yeah, I think we agree with that one. So we'll see what happens. Um, it's going to be a tough road. He actually wanted to come back and film with me the other day. And I'm like, there's hardly room for me in the room. But I would like to do that, eventually have him be part of my channel. I've thought about doing either another channel or just as part of this one, like a special series about, for both of us, life after 60, starting over, we're in a new home, we're, we have, we both have these health issues, um, how we're handling it. Um, maybe what, if we do discover things along the way, maybe it would help somebody else, I don't know. I'm just. I, it's just a thought. I'm just I don't know if it, I don't have that big of an audience. I don't know if anybody would even watch something like that. But it's just I kind of think maybe it would help just to talk about it. But anyways, that's all I've got to share today. I want to thank you for joining me. I'll catch you next time.